full body tracking is here for BoneWeb. Well, kinda. This is a mod that is currently in beta, and it's being developed by the mod creator, Not 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 Swipes. And today, I want to tell you guys what all you're going to need for this mod, where you can go to install it, and how to get it set up to get this working for you. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this tutorial. The first thing that you guys are going to want to do is go into this video's description and join the BoneWeb community server. After joining the server, where you're going to want to go next is the mod progress. Go to Not Not Swipes Mods. Click here on the Swipes Miscellaneous Making and Miss Adventures. Go to the pins icon, and right here you're going to find the BoneLab FullBodyTracking.dll. After downloading the fullbodytracking.dll file, the next thing that you guys are going to want to do is locate your mods folder that's in your BoneLab game. So for me, I installed BoneLab on my C drive. So from here, I'm going to go to programfiles.86, scroll down until I see Steam, go to your Steam apps, common, and right here you're going to find the BoneLabs folder. And then within that BoneLab folder, you're going to find your mods folder. Then go ahead and open up another file explorers page and locate your fullbodytracking.dll file. And then you can go ahead and drag and drop that file into your BoneLab's mod folder. I'm going to go ahead and replace the file anyway because I already had it in there. And then voila, we got the full body tracking mod installed for BoneLab. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get it set up. Alright, so let's go ahead and briefly talk about the type of trackers that you're going to be using. So personally, I like to use the Vive 3.0 trackers. Now for this mod, you actually only need two trackers as unfortunately there is no hip tracking. It's all just going to be for your ankles. Other trackers like Tundra, Slime, or even a Xbox 360 Connect all should work as well. However, a Xbox 360 Connect will probably be pretty glitchy. So be prepared to be having some issues with that. I am just going to throw this in here as well, but for people who are trying to use full body tracking with the Quest headset, I have provided a video link in the description down below where you can get this set up with your Quest headset. After drag and dropping the full body tracking.dll file, you can go ahead and launch BoneWeb. You should also see that Melon Loader is loading all of your mods as well. Now the second that you load in and you look down at your feet, you should instantly see that your legs are automatically being tracked. However, there are at times where your legs can be stuck together. Do not worry, there are ways that you can fix that. So. One of which is going to your uh, settings menu, going to your preferences, going to your bone menu, going to the bone lab FBT, and then you click on the Calibri button. And it's going to tell you to please stand straight with your legs together. So we're going to do that really quick. And after you do that, it should work. However, if your legs are still stuck, go ahead and restart your game. I've had that issues when I switched to a custom avatar, so even after calibration it still wouldn't work, so I had to restart my game to uh, uh, get it working for the avatar. And that is it! That is how you install the full body tracking mod for BoneLab. I hope that this explanation was not too confusing, and as always, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down in the comment section, and I'll get to you guys as soon as possible. So now since we have this Bone Lab mod set up, let's go ahead and have some fun. And this mod is really cool, because you can literally like kick stuff anywhere, like BAM! Like, how cool is that? That is absolutely amazing. This full body tracking mod just works so well. Get off. It's weird, you're like, like sparks. You kick some back on. But yeah, let's try spawning somebody really quick. I wanna, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn a Ford. Alright, Ford is gonna be my test subject. Bam! Oh, what up, son? What up, son? 
Hey, Ford, guess what? I'm gonna kick you in the nuts. Oh, no, Ford. Ford, did that feel good, Ford? Huh? Did that feel good, Ford? Got a shotgun here. Let's try kicking this. Oh, that didn't work as well. Hold on. There we go. <sighs> hey there. Hey, what's up? Welcome back, Ford. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can kick this pan at Ford's head. Hold on. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. No, not two Fords. Hold on. Uh, we need another frying pan. Uh, weapons. A, B, C, D, E, F, frying pan. All right, here we go. Hey, Ford. Hello. Hey, what's up, Ford? All right, here we go. Oh. Yeah! I didn't even touch you, dude. All right, here we go. Ah! <laughs> Hold on. This is so goofy, man. Come here. Oh yeah, Ford, I'm gonna drop kick you. Yeah. How do you like it, huh? Get tea bagged. All right, I want to finish this Ford off. There we go. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, as always, any questions, go ahead and comment down below so I can assist you guys. So, anyways, <sighs> these tutorials burn me out, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.